yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. Look like we got another one. We got another one, guys. We got another one. So apparently, you know, uh, so Timu is a big thing these days. Timu, the website Timu. You know, if you haven't heard of Timu, I'm sure everybody's heard of Timu by now. But if you haven't heard of it, you know, this is a website. Where you can get all types of cool little knickknacks and patty wax and nice little products for real cheap. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at some like some boxing pads and they was like two dollars. You know what I'm saying? They was gonna give me like twelve items for like fifty bucks. You know what I'm saying? So uh yeah, Timu. Everybody is all the rave. But come to find out, new evidence. Let me scratch myself over. New evidence is coming out exposing the fact that the reason that all those products are so cheap and the quality, the quality, I'm not sure about the quality, but the reason those products are so cheap is because they don't have to pay people to make those products so they can afford to put them on the market for just a couple bucks you know lowest prices we've seen since the 90s because they're not paying their workers they're using uyghurs they're using enslaved uyghurs in their uyghur concentration camps to build these products for them for free to do all the labor to cotton pick they're, they're even picking cotton to make the shirts and stuff, you know, and all the clothes or whatever. So they got all that labor for free. You got a million workers, a million people in those Uyghur camps working for free. You can get a lot done. You can make a lot of money when you got folks doing anything you need them to do, working as long as you need them to work, and you ain't got to pay them nothing.